if you want to add love themed foiled elements to your cards quickly and easily this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel and in today's video I am featuring the new Gina K Designs Poly Glaze Foiling Sheets, Foil Mates, and a set of stamps and dies. First, let's take a look at the difference between the Poly Glaze Foiling Sheets and the Foil Mates and how to use them to create backgrounds and sentiments. Here are the two new poly glaze foiling sheet sets. They are both four and a quarter by five and a half. This one is called Tiny Hearts and has a bunch of tiny hearts. The other one is called Hugs and Kisses. And what you'll notice is they are not printed in black toner. That is the difference between the black toner and the polyglaze. Now these are foil mates. These are printed in black toner. These are eight and a half by 11 sheets and you get three of them in the set. They have a bunch of sentiments that can be used from Valentine's Day and beyond. Now you can use a regular laminator or you can use the Gina K Designs Fuse Foiling System with both of those. You will need foil sheets that apply to toner for both of them. And the Thermoweb iCraft Deco Foil applies to both polyglaze and to toner prints like the card fronts. Now, I've cut a piece of foil slightly larger than the polyglaze, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. I place the foil on top of the polyglaze inside a carrier and place that inside the fuse. The color is facing up, the silver side is facing down towards the design. And I'll let that run through the machine and then I let it cool before I peel them off. Here are the other colors that I'll be using today of Thermoweb Deco Foil. They come in a whole rainbow of colors. So you can see that both of the Tiny Hearts and the Hugs and Kisses Poly Glaze foil absolutely beautifully. There are no black spots because there are no black pieces of toner or printed on these sheets. It is a different type of sheet that works with those foil sheets as well. And so as I mentioned, they foil really beautifully. Make sure, of course, that your fuse machine or your laminator is nice and warmed up, but really I have no problems foiling with polyglaze. Now for those toner sentiments, I'm cutting out the ones that I'm using and I'm leaving lots of margin around them so that I can either maybe use a die with them, especially for that circle, or use my trimmer to either put a margin around them or not. But it basically works the same way. Place the piece that you want inside the carrier and place a piece of foil on top with the silver side facing the toner. The color side will face up and you'll run it through your fuse machine. Now I have a bunch of sentiments that foiled really well. If you start to have trouble with your foiling where there are spots that are showing. Grab some type of dusting cloth. Gina K recommends the Swiffer dusting cloths and I found them to work perfectly. Here, I missed a spot. Don't worry, we'll fix it in the card, but just know that you can get rid of the dust and that will help your toner and foils transfer a lot better. Now, let's combine those foiled elements with the stamps and dies to make some cards. I have the hot air balloon from the stamp set and the basket. I'm inking that up with Gina K amalgam ink and then I have a couple of Gina K ink cubes and other ink pads to stamp some of those floral images, the leaves, and the banner as well so that I have a bunch of different elements that I can use. I've stamped a sentiment that says lifting you up and that is also in the Gina K amalgam black obsidian. So now I have the background of tiny hearts and I'll use a little bit of Gina K sea glass. It's a really beautiful blue. It's the same blue that I stamped those images in and I'm lightly blending with a brush just to get a light color over that foil. The foil will still shine through, it resists. I'll pop up the balloon itself and then pop up the basket too. Then I can decorate it and I have all those little elements to decorate it. So I have the banner here that uses, it punches out the center 
of the triangles as well, which I think is really fun. I'll place that at the top and then a bunch of flowers and leaves. Some will get popped up, some will be adhered directly down to the balloon. So there's lots of dimension. I love this stamp set because it is so easy to make a really pretty hot air balloon and to have a very heartfelt sentiment like lifting you up on it as well. You really don't need anything else on this card, but the foil really helps make a big impact in the background. For this next card, I wanted to share that you can use some of the elements from the stamp set without necessarily using the hot air balloon. So I have a couple of the flowers. You can see one of them is pretty large. So we'll take a up a good portion of your card and be a great element that you can add to it. Now you could color it, you could watercolor it, you could alcohol marker color it. I just decided to stamp it in some Gina K ink. And now I have the background, which is the hugs and kisses background that I foiled in pink. And I'm using one of the sentiments from those toner sentiments that says, I love you so much. That one I foiled in gold. And then added some flowers and a heart from the stamp set. I wasn't going to use every single background that I created today and then I saw these rainbow ones and I thought you have to absolutely use those. So that rainbow foil is so easy to use and makes this great background and sentiment and that's all you need. Another idea for the stamp set is to flip the hot air balloon over and make it into a vase. So this time I've stamped a bunch of the flowers from the stamp set and the shape that is technically the hot air balloon, I flipped it over to make it the vase, and now I'm just inking over those stamped images. Instead of coloring them in, you can just do a little bit of ink blending on top, then use the matching dies to cut them out, pop up the vase at the bottom of an XOXO background that is in gold, and add some flowers flat to the card and popped up for lots of dimension, and that's it. It's super easy to create your own look from this stamp set, whether it's a hot air balloon or a vase. And the sentiments are so amazing. This one says, I hope your day is full of love and you can cut it out and pop it up as well. Love that option. Don't forget that you might have dies in your stash that you can use to cut out those foiled elements like that circle die I just used here. Then I'll cut the foil background down to four by five and a quarter so that I can mat it on some Gina K cardstock. I love the sea glass color in ink and I also love it in cardstock. So just a little tape runner on the back of that foil panel, place it down on the cardstock and then pop up the foiled sentiment that says love you so much and has a bunch of hearts that I I die cut out with a plain old circle die. And again, this card is done. Here's another super easy one with just the foil background and then the toner foiled sentiment. This time, instead of leaving the rainbow edge white, I decided to mat them both in black cardstock. It does make them pop, but I think I prefer the white. Definitely use some black foam squares behind that black cardstock so you can pop it up without being able to see the foam squares. Remember that pink foiled sentiment where I missed a spot of dust and it didn't foil? Well, I'm stamping some elements from the stamp set in pink so that I can die cut them out. Then I'll take that sentiment and I'll cut it down with a white margin. I'll cut this panel down to four by five and a quarter. I like to go back and forth from side to side and top to bottom to make sure it's even all around. Use some tape runner and apply that to a pink cardstock background. Then pop up the sentiment. It still has that little missing spot. That's okay. We're going to cover it. Just pop up a little flower right on top and a little heart next to it and we have fixed the problem and it looks absolutely fabulous as is. For this card, I am stamping the hot air balloon right on top of a foiled background. You can absolutely stamp on these polyglaze sheets. I'm using some anti-static powder tool and then Versamark ink because I'd like to heat emboss as well. Again, these sheets are able to be heat embossed, just be easy with it so that you don't scorch it. It's a thinner cardstock than maybe you're used to dealing with. I'll also stamp in Versamark ink the basket and I used anti-static down there. This embossing powder is rose gold from Gina K. I 
adore it. It is such a unique color and it's so beautiful. Once I pour off the excess, I can heat set that again carefully. I was so careful that I actually missed a spot. So you can see how part of the hot air balloon is missing there. Again, we'll fix that. It's fine. Don't throw these things away. You can absolutely cover up so many different little mistakes. Here are a bunch of the flowers and the little heart. I'll also stamp those in Bar Versamark ink and then pour that same rose gold embossing powder on top and then heat set those as well once I pour off the excess. I missed a little flower there, but you can see I didn't miss it with the ink. I just missed pouring the embossing powder on top. So once that's all done, just heat set those. And then once they are heat set and they are cooled, you don't wanna to touch them before while they're still hot, then I'll die cut them. I had decided to add a little bit of ink, this is a Gina K ink cube again, uh, to the center of the balloon, just so that it stands out a little bit from the background. And then that missing spot on the balloon, I added some flowers popped up and flat to the card. And then I used the heart as one of the flower centers. I decided on that sentiment, I hope your day is full of love. And I love that you can cut it out as well with the matching dies. And I matted it all on some gold cardstock. So I just love the rose gold with the traditional gold together. I don't know about you, but I love foiled elements and I love love themed designs. So this combination was right up my alley. I had so much fun with the elements from this Gina K Designs release. But I wanna hear what caught your eye today. Let me know in the comments below. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. And foil, the <laughs> Why though? I'd love to hear, <laughs> I'd love, I'd love, I'd love.